We are sitting here at the dam, Twin Dams, wondering if perhaps Shongile won't come this way after having her meal stolen. And we're sitting with what might be described by many as the most dangerous mammal in all of Africa. And yes, it is absolutely a dangerous mammal if you separate it from the water. But here it is, sitting in the water very comfortably with us sitting above it. And it will be watching us very carefully, making sure that we don't threaten it. And I have seen hippo come out of the water at people. But normally, if you're sat right on the edge, so not when you're sitting sort of up above like this, that doesn't, won't feel any sense of threat. And I was saying yesterday, we spent a little bit of time with this hippo yesterday, and he started to display sort of territorial behavior. And Sebastian was saying that when he came for his interview, he, you drove with Byron here, hey? He started to do a little bit of yawning, a little bit of that sort of throwing his head up into the air and going, ah, 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 ah. and yesterday was the first time I'd seen it from this chap. So he's obviously getting bigger, he's getting a bit more confident, and he's getting a little bit more territorial. So I'm not sure how long he's going to be here. I suspect quite strongly that he is going to head off at some stage towards a bigger dam, maybe towards Chitwa Dam, and see if he can't find himself some mates and perhaps set up a little harem of his own. And Brock, you're wondering how long hippos can stay underwater. Okay, well, let's wait and see. Let's just wait for him to breathe. And he's breathing and... One chimpanzee, two chimpanzee, three chimpanzee, four chimpanzee, five chimpanzee, six chimpanzee, seven chimpanzee, eight chimpanzee, nine chimpanzee, ten chimpanzee, eleven chimpanzee, twelve chimpanzee, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen seconds. They can stay under for longer than that, Brock. They can apparently stay under for up, I've read, up to eight minutes. I've never seen it. In fact, I've very, very seldom seen a hippopotamus under the water for more than one minute. And, and even that's been a stretch. But what you'll find also is that I live in an area where this is where you find hippos. So they're shallow dams. They don't very deep channels. And perhaps if you go to a place like the Okavango, where the hippos move in amongst channels of papyrus where the water is much deeper, you may well find that they spend a lot longer under the water than they do here. But they cannot spend the same amount of time under water as something like a seal, for example, or a manatee, or any of the other aquatic mammals, because it isn't, I guess it isn't really a truly aquatic mammal, it is a much more amphibious mammal than it is aquatic. There we go, beautiful ray of waves going out. Daniel, you say I shouldn't go for a swim. Absolutely no chance you'll find me trying to have a swim in here. There are many who may come down to a waterhole like this and think, ah, it'll be fine if I just sort of dip my feet in the edge of the water. I'm not one of those, especially as there could be a crocodile in here. We just wouldn't know. <coughs> He's starting to do a little bit more lurking, jumping about. As we came up here, Herbert told me as well that there is a traditional use for the fat of a hippo. They have blubber in the same way that whales have blubber. And the fat of a hippo is used to relieve a birth that is late. So if there's an, an expected date for a birth and the woman doesn't give birth, they'll take the fat of a hippopotamus and rub it on her belly. And apparently that will induce some kind of of labor. Whether it works or not, I don't know. It's certainly not something I've heard of in the obstet obstetrics wards around Johannesburg. Not that I've spent an enormous amount of time around obstetrics wards, of course. I think that's probably where we should leave that discussion. Okay, let's move along. I'm not sure, I'm sure Tristan told you, but Jamie's had to go home, of course. There she, oh, and she's now not home. Oh, she is going home. She's got the thing that Mercedes was so scared of earlier on.
Well, hopefully Mercedes doesn't feel too frightened by...